A 19-year-old United States Marine is in the Guilford County Jail this evening after deputies say he led them on a chase that at times hit 140 miles an hour. They say this all happened after what investigators claim was an illegal street takeover event Saturday night around 11 in Greensboro in the Big Lots parking lot off Battleground Avenue. The suspect, Anthony Furcal, faces a dozen assault and dangerous driving charges. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman was in the courtroom this afternoon for Furcal's first appearance. So, Sarah, we understand he spoke to the judge. That's right, Natalie. He did. And the judge warned him that anything he said in court today could be used against him. But for call said he wanted to take the opportunity to let the judge know he did not intentionally hit the deputies and he had no intentions of hurting anybody. But those illegal street, street takeovers is something the state of North Carolina takes very seriously. And that long list of charges now against for call sends a strong message that those events are not welcome here in Greensboro. Then a street takeover charge, class two misdemeanor, maximum punishment up to 60 days. It's a new charge in North Carolina to stop these large gatherings with cars doing stunts like burnouts and donuts in parking lots. It's bad, so it's very dangerous for, for kids and for people in North Carolina. It's been a problem across the entire city. We just always hear skirts all around, and it's kind of scary knowing that I have to walk through there just to get home. But when Guilford County deputies tried to stop the event on Saturday night at the parking lot off of Battleground Avenue, it escalated quickly. A vehicle just tried to just hit me my patrol vehicle and took off. We have attempted multiple pits. He intentionally rammed uh, 331. During court, the district attorney's office said that for call's car was between two deputies with lights and sirens on. He backed up into one and then drove forward toward another before leaving the parking lot reaching speeds of up to 140 miles per hour, and at one point driving the wrong way. Just taking a left. No, nope, he's going straight. He's getting back on the highway. The chase lasted for about 10 miles before for call hit a guardrail in Rockingham County. Damage to the deputies' vehicles is around $8,000. I was, I was intending to hit to harm nobody that night. For call said in court that he is a Marine on active duty at Camp Lejeune. He told the judge he heard about the street takeover through a friend. And they started doing donuts and stuff, and my friend, and my friend that was there just told me, hey man, I'll, I'll see what you can do, and then that's how I felt excited, I guess. That's why they saw me doing donuts the most. For call faces several years of prison time for leading deputies on the chase, assault of a government official for hitting their patrol cars, speeding and driving the wrong way, but if convicted of the street takeover charge, he could also lose his car. And for call is being held at the Guilford County Jail on a $15,000 bond for those 10 charges we heard earlier in court today. That's on top of a $50,000 bond for two additional charges of assault on a law enforcement officer. He's expected back here in Guilford County Court tomorrow for those additional charges. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News. Sarah, thank you. And you may